Hey, I'm back. This time I'm posting this just on my joyful page and not the Trim Healthy page because I don't want to overwhelm the Trim Healthies with too many live videos. So I'll do one for my page. I'm going to make pigs in a blanket for supper and I've never done it. Well, I can't say that. I might have done it last time I did this. But if I did, it's been a very long time. But I'm gonna make them in my air fryer and I'm gonna make them from here. I have it all up here. I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know if I remember. I didn't even look up the recipe because I'm gonna wing it. And I'm gonna make it with butternut squash french fries. I forgot to say that. So. Maybe I should show you that first. I probably should have cleaned up my kitchen first, but I didn't. I just made glucky pudding over there on the Term Healthy page, and holy moly, I got dishes everywhere. All right, let me get my, my cutting board and show you how I make butternut squash fries. These make, they taste to me a little bit like sweet potato fries, I really like them. I'm not a big butternut squash fan, but these are super tasty. 90% of everything that I own is in the dishwasher right now. So I don't know how it's going to go, but I'll show you what I do. And if you're lucky, you'll get to see me slice off an appendage because that's <laughs> also what I do. My knife safety skills are not on par. <laughs> are you kidding, Tina? <laughs> That's hysterical. Your dogs recognize me now. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, tell your dogs I said hi. I need a spoon. All of my everything is dirty. I just make glucky pudding with a spoon. Why not? I'll use the same one because that's what people do in real life, right? <laughs> if you don't like it, you probably should never come to my house to eat. <laughs> this is just how I roll. All right. Bonnie, you are so blessed, girl. The Lord is blessing you greatly today with KJ. <laughs> You're getting your fill. <laughs> Everybody will be sick of me by 9 p.m. <laughs> or probably well before that. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. The dogs know me. <laughs> All right. Butternut squash stinks. I am making... <laughs> I am making... Whatever I said I was making. What did I say I was a uh, Pigs in a blanket. I am making pigs in a blanket, Bonnie. But I'm making it with french fries. Because what's a good dog without some fries? I can't find my peeler. That's filthy. All of my peelers, I have three of them, and none of them are in the dishwasher. Or my... Okay. There we go. That's how real people are. I am making pigs in a blanket, but I really like to have chips with my hot dogs. And I can't do that unless I have Tostitos and I don't want to cross over tonight. So I'm making fries with it. Kim, they are totally <laughs> friendly to your backseat passenger. posted that last night I sent it to my best friend well I showed it to my husband and I said what do you think should I post this and he goes no <laughs> uh no and I'm like I don't know I'm feeling like I should post this so I sent it to my best friend and she responded oh my gosh you have to post this right now 
So we did. And it got quite a reaction. <laughs> you never know what's gonna come out of my mouth. Never know. All right, I'm just peeling my squash. And I'm probably keeping all of you from cooking your dinner because you're just watching me peel squash. <laughs> oh, right, if, if the husband says no, you probably shouldn't post that, then the answer is clearly post it now. The answer is don't ask me. <laughs> he says the answer is don't ask me. <laughs> I can't imagine guys sharing something. He was horrified. Guys wouldn't do that. I can't imagine me and my friend Bill talking about our backseat passengers to each other, let alone sharing it with thousands of women. <laughs> Listen, we all got them. We just don't want to talk about them. So you know what? Some things need to be talked about. And I'm the person to bring that to the masses. All right, I'm peeling this whole puppy because I'm going to fry the whole thing. Um, even though I'm not going to eat the whole thing, I'm going to cook the whole thing right now because nobody else in my house will eat it. God forbid they eat a vegetable. That's right. Nobody else will eat until I'm done. Don't forget it. That's right. That's right. They won't eat my vegetables. They won't even try them. Whatever. <laughs> oh my gosh, Bonnie, you couldn't be more right about women talking about everything. I worked, I work with a bunch of women. I work with some men now too, but it used to be just a bunch of women in a building. And there was not a single conversation at lunchtime, not one. Every single day. It could start out talking you about. Go take a dump and talk about the don't say dump on my <laughs> thing. <laughs> really? No, don't, don't say gross words. Well, anyway, <laughs> we could. <laughs> we would start our lunch by talking about like the latest episode of, you know, Sons of Anarchy or something like that. <laughs> And we ended every lunch somewhere, somehow, the conversation would turn to one of two things. Poop or hoo-hahs. You just said poop. I said poop. I didn't say take a dump. These people are trying to cook their supper. But that's poop. You talk about your butthole. And I can't say dump. Jeez. What? I can say it. You can't. <sighs> Anywho. But that's because I worked with a bunch of nurses. And nurses will talk about anything nasty over lunch. They gross. Nurses. Nurses have no shame when it comes to conversation. And I've worked with nurses long enough to know I have none either. <laughs> That's what happens when you work in healthcare. You just, whatever. <laughs> Everything is an open convo. All right, so these are my fries. Why don't you Google if butternut squash is safe for the dog? No, okay, well, they're about this big. I could make them a little skinnier. They're a little fat, but I don't wanna keep you guys on here all night slicing my squash. If only I had an assistant who would help me, but I don't. Oh yeah, it's so true, Charlotte. Any and all healthcare. I mean, it's just the human body. Some people. Cause dump is a nasty word. Stop saying it while I cook supper. I'm, going I'm serious. No, don't you say it. I'm going to the dump. <laughs> You're gonna get your rear end kicked in a minute. The dump it's is like your you, house. Uh, no. The dump is where you take Stop the distracting trash. me from my ladies. Go eat a Reese's. Get mad that I'm still in the show. Oh boy. Anywho. Oh my word, Cassie. So you have some pretty good conversations in your house around the dinner table, I bet. I, that is one job, girl. A plumber. Ugh. Nope. Tell her I was an EMT for we, years and I wouldn't do that. We honor you. <laughs> there is no way. Nope. nope. The stuff in people's toilets is one thing is bad enough, but their sinks is, 
there's nothing more disgusting than a sink where women live. I'll say it. My sink is nasty. Anyway, this is, where's this conversation going? This is supposed to be a healthy cooking show. <laughs> show. Oh, Suzanne, is this your first baby? Or have you had, is this your like, are you like some of the other women on here and this is your 13th? They're so miserable. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's getting hot in here. I'm gonna take my shirt off today. I don't wanna accidentally lift it up. Oh. It is a little disgusting, Tina. <laughs> what? Nothing, I'll tell you later. <laughs> gosh this is have you ever watched a cooking show where people talk about poop the entire time Jeez. we need to move on <laughs> oh my gosh anywho these are taking forever i promised you guys that someday one of these videos a while ago i promised you that i would tell you about my most embarrassing moment that I ever had, ever. Hey, no, would you like to hear it? Would you guys like to hear my most embarrassing life story? It's a doozy. The day you said I do. Yeah, the day I said I do, he said. <laughs> oh my gosh, Gordon Ramsay would die if you get this conversation. All right. My most embarrassing story ever has absolutely nothing to do with cooking, nothing to do with Trim Healthy Mama, and nothing to do with butternut squash french fries. <laughs> when we first moved to this area from two hours north of here, I was 20 something, we, my husband, you know, the guy over there, was working overnights <clears throat> that has nothing to do with the story, so I don't know. I just said that. <laughs> I went to Walmart. We had just moved down. We had just gotten a new house, and we had nothing. We had <clears throat> very little stuff for our kitchen. We had very little stuff. We had no curtains. We had no... We didn't have curtains for the trailer when we moved in. We had to go buy them. Yeah, we were not far. And so I went shopping at Walmart one night because I needed, like, a strainer and a slotted spoon and just all the things. So I went to Walmart one night and I, the first thing I did when I get in there, very first thing was walk by the clothing area and I saw this shirt that I like, this tank top or something. I'm like, oh, Wife that's cute. <laughs> we'd, we'd been down here a couple of months cause we moved in September and it was the middle of winter. So I was like, oh, that's a cute shirt. I'm gonna go try it on real quick. So I went in the dressing room and I tried it on and I, I don't even know if I put it in my cart or whatever. And then I left the dressing room and I went about my way and I walked through Walmart for a solid <laughs> two hours. Anyway, she, she, she fit right I, at least two hours walking around Walmart shopping. I had a huge cart of stuff and I got... I had Christmas decorations, I remember that, so it was December. And I got to the register and I paid for all my stuff and then I went to leave the store. And when the doors opened, the electric sliding doors at the front of the Walmart, I all of a sudden felt this massive burst of very cold, very, very cold, icy air. And I knew something didn't feel right. And I looked down and I, <laughs> when I had tried on that shirt, I'm big boobed. I mean, we all know it. Let's be clear about that. When I had tried on that shirt and put my own shirt back on, I didn't pull it all the way down and it was sitting just like this, but I had no shirt on underneath it. I just had a bra and the worst part was, so it was like cleavage, big boobs shirt and the worst part was i had a pair of pantyhose and they were pulled way up here like this 
<laughs> and I walked around that friggin' store. That's embarrassing. I walked around that store for a solid two hours. Not one person said a single word to me. How could nobody notice? Oh Lord. Oh Lord. It was, I was, well, first thing I did was call my mother in tears of laughter because I was laughing so hard. Yeah, that was a good day for me. I'm pretty sure that I am on a website for the people of Walmart somewhere. I wanted to go back in and give the cashier a hard time and be like, you couldn't have said something. I was just at your register and you couldn't have said a darn word that my girls were like completely you're most, exposed. You're most Oh, that was pretty embarrassing too. Okay, I'm halfway through my squash. You guys are being patient and hanging with me while I chop vegetables. I'll tell you one more really embarrassing story. I, we weren't married two days. We had just gotten married. We were on our honeymoon and we were at, at the Isle of Palms in South Carolina and Hurricane Floyd, was it? Or Hurricane something, some big hurricane was coming in. We didn't know that before we went there. We were too stupid to look. Um, and so the island was being evacuated. And we had to get our stuff together and get out. Well, I decided to do my hair and makeup. Because, I mean, I'm a young woman I, with my new husband. I'm not going to look like a freak. You know, that's what you think when you're 20. So I get dressed. I'm curling my hair. My husband comes in and says, what are you doing? There's a, there's a hurricane coming. Nobody cares what your hair looks like. So I had no makeup on and I had done, cur I had a pixie cut and I had curled one half of it. So one half of it was nice and curled and the other side was completely straight. And he said, we gotta go. We gotta go before they shut the bridge down. Let's go. So, okay. So I get my stuff and we head out. He heads out first, right? Yeah, there was a walk long walkway on the outside of the building. You left first to go start putting stuff in the car. And I start coming out and I get in the elevator to go down a floor and I've got my suitcase. And when the doors open, there's Frederic Frederica Whitfield standing in the door with NBC Nightly News or NBC something, National MSNBC. News, MSNBC, one of those, with one of those big microphones wanting to interview me. And so, She's telling, I'm telling her the story. Meanwhile, what I didn't know was he had gone back upstairs and we had like, I went up the he went up the, the stairs because the elevator was busy because I was in it. <laughs> well, my husband's not a big fan of the media at all, never has been. And so while I'm standing there being interviewed, lights in my eyes, camera in my face, the elevator door opens <laughs> and I open the door, the door opens and I said, oh, Here's my husband, and he peeks his head out, saw the cameras, and said, I've never seen this woman before in my life. Went back in the elevator and back up the stairs. Denied my existence two days into our marriage. So that's how the last 20 years have gone here. And then I gave, I gave the cameraman a shove in the parking lot. Gave the cameraman a little pushy push in the parking lot to get out of space. <laughs> yeah, that was, but there's video footage of me on NBC, MSNBC Nightly News. All right. Oh, that's right. And the worst part was not only was my hair a mess and no makeup on, I was wearing a t-shirt that all it said on the front was body piercing saved my life. That's what I was on the national news wearing. Body piercing saved my life. On the back were Christ's hands, you know, with the nails. But on the front, body piercing saved my life. So, yeah. My mother said, why was that shirt you were wearing? Okay, so anyway, my butternut squash fries are ready. So I just put a little bit of salt and pepper and I spray a little cooking spray. I don't spray much. You could put coconut oil on them if you want. It's a nest, but I don't need them. They don't need them. I'm not going to do it. So, all right. 
turn you a little bit. I'm gonna stick, you, stick them in my air fryer, which I hope is assembled and it's not, because is it ever when I do these videos, it's never ready to go. What did I say I was making? Uh, pigs in a blanket. <laughs> you turned in to see pigs in a blanket and instead you get Kelly's most, KJ, sorry, KJ's most embarrassing moments and how to make butternut squash fries. All right, while those are cooking, I'm gonna make my hot dogs. All right, you can have butternut squash fries with your S foods. If you were to put like um, sweet potato fries, it would be a crossover. Um, but you could make zucchini fries if you like zucchini. I don't. But I like better not squash fries. Any, any fuel pull veggie that you want to cut into a fry. So I wrote down what I usually do. I put just under a cup, because I'm only making a couple of these. I'm not making these for my whole family. So if you want these for your whole family, you better go look up a recipe or double this one or triple this one. Hi, Kathy. I told you, she offered me pizza. Kathy offered to bring me hot pizza for supper and I said, I'm sorry, I'm cooking, I'm cooking hot dogs. Pizza and hot dogs, that's how we trim healthy here in this place. All right, we, we meaning me. All right, a tablespoon of cream cheese. So I got, this like I said is for two. So I've got just under a cup of mozzarella, a tablespoon-ish, or a glob of cream cheese and just under a half a cup of almond milk is what I I mean nope almond flour it's like fathead dough if you've ever had fathead dough this is fathead dough basically so mix it up throw it in the microwave for one minute my kitchen is now officially a wreck and this is gonna go good with my gluky pudding for dessert. I'm just making them grilled hot dogs with, with grilled buns on the grill ninja. What do you mean, yay? They're awesome out of the ninja. If you don't want hot dogs, then you should get up and cook something else. You can find a spot. I can't even get the dog water, so I'm gonna be on Nobody cares if you're on camera. They'll all say hi, and then I can guarantee some of them yeah, are wearing pajama but pants. I'll give a in the back. No, you won't. All right. So one minute. Cook it for one minute. Yeah, you just stir it. <laughs> the gluky. Well, in my fridge, Kim, it lasts like four days because I'll eat it every day when it's in there. I know, I know, but this is real life cooking. So, all right, so when you do this, it just comes out in a glob. It should look like this. And then quickly, so I, if you put your egg right straight on top of that, you're gonna have a scrambled egg because it's hot. So I just, I scramble it like this so that it's easier to stir in real quick. And when I pour it in my dough, then you just then you just stir it up real quick. Start mashing it in real quick. Because if it does, if it sits there on that hot dough, you're gonna have scrambled egg dough. And nobody wants scrambled egg dough with hot dogs. That sounds horrible. It's hard to mix in. It's hard to incorporate. Once it gets to the temperature that you can touch it, you can mix it up with your hands, but it's really hot. In all seriousness, I've made in bulk and kept in there for over a week. Yeah, I, I usually, I make about, I make a serving, a recipe, that's the word I'm looking for, usually every week. And it lasts me four to five meals typically, because I don't need a ton of it, because usually I'm full from my supper. But I like that it's fuel pull and I don't have to think about, you know, 
I don't have to think about what goes with my supper for dessert. Yeah, yeah, that's hot. Anyway, you just want to mix it in good so that you have your dough like this. Should look like that. Just looks like a messy, sticky, yellow, hot dough. Then, oh my gosh, I need a better camera. I need like one of those cameras up here. Oh, I just got quite the look from my husband when I said that. All right, I'm going to use parchment. I'm going to use wax paper. Plop it on there. And I'm just going to flatten it out. I'm not going to roll it with a rolling pin. You can if you want, but I ain't got time for that. I'm going to use my salt shaker. And I'm going to spill salt all over it. No, really. Just flatten it out. This will probably actually, this is probably going to make... Oh, see, you're supposed to spray your wax paper. I forgot to tell you that. Before you put it in the oven. Well, no, don't put your wax paper in the oven. I did. Yeah. My husband was cooking, what, tater tots? He was full-time firefighter years ago. And first week on the new department, he decides to make tater tots, was it? This was before we met, ladies, because I would have made the tater tots for him. He put tater tots on a baking sheet and because he didn't know what a baking sheet was he thought it was must be wax paper and he put that in a hot oven and then he wondered why he could smell oops a candle burning okay this shouldn't be this messy I'll tell you that I told you I hadn't made it in a while I'm having a heck of a time I might have to start over <laughs> it's not coming out right you guys it's because he's distracting me. I'm gonna put a little more almond flour on there. It's not coming out. It's coming out too sticky. I was gonna flatten it in between parchment or something. Look, this is successful. This is this is success. Kathy, you may be delivering me pizza after all. <laughs> oh my god. Again, this is how not to do it. I guess it needs a little more almond flour. I didn't quite put enough because it shouldn't be so sticky. You can't manage it. <laughs> Let's try it again. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do it right on this wood. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna cut it. This is, I don't know if you've, if you've never made fat head dough, it has a super sexy name. Everybody wants fat pizza dough, but it's just cheese, eggs, and almond flour, and cream cheese, and it makes a great pizza crust. Oh, all right. Okay, I'm going to roll it. I forgot that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to roll it. Nothing makes me happier than watch you fix issues. That's what I need to know. Oh, man, I have a lot of issues. Girl, I never make something right the first time. Never, 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 never. And it's not very often that I've made on these cooking show, cooking shows, these lives, it's not very often that I've made something that I've cooked before. I'm usually winging it. All right. So that's what you want is a snake of dough. Let me wash my hand off. All right, so this is what I do. I say that like I have a clue. This is how you do it. I have no idea how you do it. Absolutely no idea, clearly. Clearly. I don't know if I'm gonna have too much dough. This might've made, I feel like I'm gonna have, I'm gonna break a little off. I feel like this needs to be a little thinner because it's gonna puff up a little bit and I don't wanna eat. I'm probably not gonna eat all that dough. Oh good, I'm glad, Lindsay. 
Oh, all right. So then first, oh my. Golden Retriever. You should get one and cook with it. Oh, I just pulled a big dog hair out of it. This is how, th th this is how I cook in my house. Golden Retriever, I love that dog with my whole life. Well, not my whole life. I mean, I love the dog a whole lot, but his hair does not belong in my hot dog. I mean, he probably knows he's gonna get half of it anyway. That's how it works around here. All right. That's what it should look like. Oh my goodness. Janet, the dough recipe is just under a cup of mozzarella shredded, a tablespoon of cream cheese, and just a, about a half a cup of almond flour. Mix it up, just easy. Don't worry about incorporating the almond or the cream cheese, just throw it in a bowl. Microwave it for one minute, stir it. It'll be a big sticky glob. Add an egg and mix it really well. And then if you need more almond flour to make it touchable without sticking to everything, then do it. All right. I'm gonna make myself two of these, but I can almost guarantee I'm not gonna eat two. I always overcook for my meals. And then I'm full halfway through because I start thinking, if I eat all this, I'm not gonna be able to eat my glukey. What's that? A piece of a strawberry. All right, there's the other one. I gotta spread the dough out a little bit. There's the other one. Your custard didn't turn out. Did it, did it like crack and turn into like almost individual chunks? Because that's what it does when it breaks. You have to heat it super slow, the custard, or it will break. All right, I'll make all four. And then you're not going to eat one of these, right? I just got the look. Um, my daughter will probably eat one, even though she'll say, is there anything weird in it? What's in it? Is there a vegetable in it? Is it expired? She's always wants to know if it's expired. Is there anything weird in it? What's in it, Mama? What's in it? And I'm going to just lie and tell her it's Pillsbury. Oh, I didn't do that one very good at all. I didn't cut the dough long, but it's all right. It'll work. We'll show it from this side because it looks better from the top. Tony, there's nothing weird in this. What have I cooked with so far that has made you freak out? It's cheese and egg and cream cheese. They are very good. I'm getting the face. You pulled dirty tricks on me before. I have pulled dirty tricks on you, but there's some things that... But I always catch you at it, don't I? <laughs> I try really hard. He's super picky. So, a lot of... He's super picky. A lot of people say, Oh, just try it. Help. Why did that shut off? It didn't beat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It was preheating and I forgot to hit start. Oh, oh for crying out loud. That's been going for about 20 minutes. Preheating and it just shut off and I couldn't figure out why. And well, that's because I never hit start. This is supposed to be a quick and easy supper, you guys. Not a gourmet friggin' hour and a half they're all dish. They're all, I know, it wasn't dinner where they live for most of them, and now it is. It's dinner tomorrow by the time I'll get these done. Oh, right. One time I made meatloaf, and I just made it normal style for the most part, and but I, all I had for salt was pink Himalayan salt. And so my mom was down. She said, just use pink Himalayan salt. He'll never know. And I said, yeah, he will. She said, it's salt. He's not going to know. He took one big mouthful of that meatloaf and went, what'd you put in this? He immediately knew the salt was different. 
He's a giant PIA, you guys. He's the other backseat passenger in the house. <laughs> you're, the back, you're the back seat. I'm just the passenger. The back seat. Oh, it's so painful. I need to make these soon. My husband claims he's never had a pig in a blanket. What? Who's never had a pig in a blanket? We always had them in school. Pigs in a blanket with. I had a pig in a blanket. I don't know what you're talking about, but go away. All right. So this turned out much longer than anticipated, you guys. Can you give me some seltzer while you're down there, please? A, a four pack, please, from downstairs. So. The preheat on that thing is a little frustrating because when it beeps, you have to eat, the, eat. You have to add the food when it beeps, or it slows down. I can't believe I did that. I was right on track to be able to take those out, put these in, but no. So I mean, technically, I'm gonna have cold fries, but I could cook them all together. Um, but I'll just right before I eat, I'll warm the fries up in there for two minutes because I still gotta grill their hot dogs, and I have to change the dishwasher and I nine times out of the ten you know in that movie a Christmas story where the narrator says my mother hadn't had a hot meal in 13 years that's me that'll do that's me I haven't had a hot it was meal when you told me who it was, I wasn't listening. yeah that's not what I wanted but I'll take it <laughs> oh gosh Sorry, if I was on the THM page, they'd have kicked me off now. Does it take it too long? All right. I can't throw them in, Leah, because um, there's no, I've got a lot of fries in there. A lot, and I don't think there's room. It's warm in here, though. That thing puts off some heat. Warm your oven to 200 and set them in there. To wait on your well that's not a bad idea the only problem is my oven won't go below 350 it shuts off if I try <laughs> it's done it since we moved in and I don't know why once in a while it heats up to 325 but can you clean up this mess or something while you're just standing there watching <laughs> well if it's a captain's mess let him clean it up <laughs> snap too Yeah, no, Leah, it won't. It won't go below 325. I'm talking my actual oven. It won't, it won't go. It doesn't, uh, I don't know. It's got a turbo. It's got, <laughs> it's a turbo oven. Shuts off. <laughs> it's, I gotta take off my uh, sweater. I'm about to die. I wanna make sure my shirt stays down because I don't need this to suddenly become the most embarrassing moment in my life instead of the Walmart event. So, all right. Oh, I know what I can do while we wait. Are you gonna try one of these hot dogs? Maybe? Oh, well, I got a maybe. All right, this is what I do. I won't do it to Marin's or yours, but. I put everything but the bagel seasoning. If you just put it on your plate and then roll the dog in it, it works way better than trying to sprinkle it on. There. It's perfect. It makes them perfect. I think I'm going to eat two of these. That'll leave one for the husband <laughs> and one for the kid. But they'll probably end up tasting it and wanting regular hot dogs, because I know. So, all right, there. There's my two. Hi. Dinner is very soon. I'm on, I'm on a live. It's not too late to eat. I'm getting ready. Um, I do not use fancy hot dogs. I use ballpark 
100% beef. You can buy nitrate free and you can buy organic and you can buy all the fancy people's hot dogs, but I'm not fancy people, so I don't eat those. Right, they're 100% goat lips. I don't know, I just eat. <laughs> now my daughter's like, I'm not eating summer. Um, what? There's no goat lips in them, calm down. So these have corn syrup, which is technically off plan, but I make the choice to eat these because it's four carbs. It technically falls in the numbers, but not in the ingredients. I, there's very few foods that I eat that the ingredients don't fall into plan that I don't worry about a hot dog or kielbasa here and there. Technically, it's supposed to be anything that is, um, I think it's two grams of fat. Uh, no, it's supposed to say contains 2% or less of the corn syrup. This one has a little bit more than that, and I'm okay with that. And the reason I do it is because hot dogs, even the big fancy ones, come in an eight pack and I don't need eight hot dogs just for me. I can't buy turkey hot dogs and expect the family to eat them. So I suck it up and I eat these hot dogs and it's okay. It's not enough, it doesn't deviate enough. I don't get, I don't wanna steer you guys wrong, but I don't get hung up on the little things like that. I eat store-bought dressing if I want to have a little bit of ketchup on my hot dog, a little bit, I'm not going to have a half a cup, but if I want to dip in a little bit, I do. It's not, I don't do it every meal. I wouldn't eat these hot dogs five times a week, but I'll have these maybe once every month, maybe. All right, I think the French fries are cooked. Huh? I made butternut squash fries, Marin. Where's my mitts? My she just went, oh my God. Butternut squash fries. Disgusting. What kind of mother are you? Yes. We're gonna have it soon. I'm throwing it in right now. All right. There they are. They look burnt, they're not. They get a little, the butternut squash fries get a little char-like on the outside, but they're not. They're not burnt. All right, who's giving me all the angry reactions? How did I make y'all angry? I'm getting like hundreds of angry reactions. Because you're like an hour and a half. Away. Is it because I eat unhealthy hot dogs? <laughs> oh, it's okay, I can deal. All right, so I'm gonna put my griller in here. We're gonna cook up these hot dogs. No. Did your cabinet sound like that? <laughs> Brittany, that's okay. <laughs> I thought I really ticked somebody off. <laughs> oh, that's so, it was her child playing with the angry faces. <laughs> I was like, oh, I really made somebody mad with my hot dog choices. <laughs> I'm gonna grill these puppies up. I have no clue at all whatsoever how long to cook these. But I'm gonna go with that. I don't even know what that is. Brittany, it's perfectly okay. Don't even worry about it. Doesn't bother me a bit. I think it's cute. Rather I'd rather find out it's a kid than really ticking somebody off. <laughs> because if I really did make somebody mad with my hot dog choices, I'd feel bad, but then I'd think, that person needs to rethink their priorities. <laughs> oh, yes. Janet, it's a Ninja Foodie Smart Grill XL. My mom blessed me with that for Christmas. And it is the, oh my gosh, Kathy, I was gonna put cheese in them. 
I forgot. But the dough is made of cheese, so I guess, I guess it's okay. But yes, yes. Anyway, Ninja Foodie Smart Grill XL. It's amaze balls, amaze balls. And if you want one, you tell me because I have an affiliate link and I'll give it to you. <laughs> I don't know if you'll get a discount, but I will. <laughs> hey, I'm all about helping others. <laughs> she bought one and she was telling me how wonderful it was. I was like, oh, cool. That sounds nice. And next thing I know, there's one showing up on my doorstep. All right, sprinkled cheese over the top. I probably could, Brittany. I think it sounds good, but they, they, there's mozzarella cheese and cream cheese in them, so I don't know. You guys really do want the link for the Ninja? <laughs> All right, I will send you the affiliate link for the Ninja. They're expensive, I will warn you. They're not cheap. They're 300 anyway. But I will tell you, I've had a lot of air fryers. I've had the Emerald Lagasse. I've had the Instapot. I've had the cheap Walmart $60 one. And I'm telling you what, this thing way, way, way outshines anything I have ever cooked with. It does a fantastic job. I cook uh, steaks in it, the chicken tenders. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That's so funny, Brittany. Don't worry about it. I think it's adorable. I think it's wicked cute. Oh, that's funny. No, it is. I make hamburgers taste just like they come off the grill. My husband would disagree because he's the grill master and he doesn't want to be outdone by a ninja foodie. But the air fryer capabilities of this, what's the matter? You're actually dying of starvation over there. If you have an angry face for me, I had you in my back pocket. <laughs> Did you give me a butt angry face? <laughs> you butt dialed me an angry face. <laughs> my husband says you... You butt grumped me. <laughs> grump. Butt grumped. I got butt grumped. I know she's starving. I'm a terrible mother. No, All right, no, I didn't say that. we're having hot dogs. Um, just with hot dogs. There's there's mashed potatoes. If you guys want that, you can have mashed potatoes with your hot dogs. Sounds kind of weird, but that's okay. I'm just checking on them because I think they're gonna cook really quick. So I'm really sorry, you guys. Thanks for hanging with me. <laughs> because. <laughs> They're all taking a nap. They're going to wake up when the supper's ready. I did not expect this to take this long, but that's because I screwed up. I'll show you my butternut squash fries again. They look blackened because they are, but that do, they, they're, not, they're not burnt. It's just a nice... <laughs> I couldn't get that in my mouth. Mm. They're so good. They're sweet. They need a little bit of salt. They're really sweet, and they're really good. And if I had, I don't know. I'd like to dip them in something, but I don't know what. They're really good. It's about the only way, it's about the only way that I make, what am I trying to say? I don't know. It was. Uh, Butternut squash. It's about the only way I will eat butternut squash. I try it mashed. I try it spiralized. I don't like it. It's nasty. But I like it fried. So, all right. I think we're getting there. I can't open it yet because it takes forever to heat up. So, when I upload this on YouTube, I'm going to put a note in it that says, fast forward through the middle 35 seconds. <laughs> mm. 
You're making Rashida's fish, the fish sticks, Bonnie, or like the tilapia? I'm not a super fish person. I did make the fish sticks, they were good. They ate them. You getting impatient over there? How many hot dogs would you like? I know you're gonna try one of those. How many besides that in bread would you like? One. What about you, dear child? I have one wrapped in dough that's like a pig in a blanket. And I have some in hot dog buns. Hot dog buns? Why are you looking at me like that's weird? Bread, like hot dog buns. Just one normal one with mashed potatoes. A normal hot dog with mashed potatoes. That sounds like everybody else out there is cooking their child like veggies. I'm cooking processed meat and frozen mashed potatoes. I haven't tried that, Bonnie. Is it good? Oh, yeah, they're done. They are done. Done, done. Like, they're a little well done. That's the other thing about this thing. It cooks. The ones with the seasoning are not. Oh, my gosh. One of these days, I'm going to cook for you guys, and it's going to come out perfect. They look pretty good, though. Look. They're a little, they're, they're a little well done. He says, but we're not cooking for you. They're, that one's burnt. The Ninja cooks really, really fast, but don't they look good? They're a little crispy, but they're still gonna be really good. They're still gonna be, they're still gonna be. Let's grill those up. Well, you know, you just wasted three hot dogs. No, I didn't. You must be hungry. Anywho, Tony, these, are, these ones aren't burnt. This one is, these ones aren't. Anyway, they, they look pretty good. I'm gonna dip them in mustard, yellow mustard, because that's the only thing that you can put on a pig in a blanket, it's the law. Yeah, Cassie, my daughter, my husband or daughter don't eat vegetables. God forbid I give them a vegetable. They will flat out die. No, they'll, they'll be, they won't be surprised at all if my smoke alarms go off. So you know what I'm gonna put in my, somebody said chipotle mayo for my fries. But I just had a genius idea for dipping sauce right here. Do you guys have, have you guys had this Creole seasoning? It is <laughs> Bonnie, <laughs> meat in a bowl. <laughs> That's what we're having for supper tomorrow night, meat in a bowl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna make a little dipping sauce for my fries. I'm going to put a little bit of mayo, but not a ton, because I don't, I don't want that to be the main base of my dip, because I don't need to eat four tablespoons of mayo. And then a bunch of Greek yogurt. Mayo and Greek yogurt go together beautifully for a dip. And then I'm gonna put Creole seasoning in it. And I bet it's gonna taste bomb. And I was right. It's perfect. All right, that's it. Burnt looking fries, burnt looking hot dogs. The perfect meal for any family. <laughs> I'm getting a face from my husband big time. They are going to be very good. So, all right. I hope you learned something with this pathetic what not to do, what not to do when cooking. Mm -hmm. The longest cooking video for a hot dog <laughs> ever. <laughs> oh, and I know you all loved it so much. I'll upload it on YouTube and you can watch it on repeat. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go feed my family before they die. All right, I love you guys all. Go away. I love you all. Have a wonderful Wednesday night. I will talk to you in, it's Wednesday, yes. <laughs> Everybody in the house is confused. The joys of quarantine, nobody has any idea what day it is. Anyway, I will talk to you tomorrow morning for Treadville. <coughs> For, it's smoky in here. Bonnie says, eat it, KJ's husband. <laughs>
anyway, join me tomorrow morning. That just sounded like a TV show. Join me tomorrow morning for treadmill devotionals right around six ish, sometime between six, sometime between six and six thirty, and we'll walk and read the word together. All right, you guys, I love you all. Have a wonderful Wednesday night.